Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with recipes that make you wanna cook. On today's video, let's make this delicious pork stew. Let's get started, guys, and as usual, I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. For this recipe, I used some pork shanks, but you can use any other cut of pork that you like that you can be able to stew. Season your pork with some salt and pepper and you're gonna go ahead to brown them on both sides until golden brown. Once you are satisfied with the browning, go ahead and remove from the pan and set aside. In the same pan, you're going to go ahead and add your onions and tomatoes. You're going to saute that for another 2-3 to three minutes until the onion starts to brown a little bit. Once the onions have browned, you're going to go ahead and add your fresh chopped garlic and continue to saute for another 3 minutes. Then you're going to add your tomato paste, you can either use tomato paste, tomato puree, you can use tomato sauce, whatever that you have at hand. For the spices, I use some mutton masala and also some mother-in-law masala. You can absolutely choose the kind of masalas that you like to use. These were the two that I had at hand and I used them. For the herbs, you're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of some fennel seeds. If you don't have fennel seeds, you can absolutely leave this step out. Or you can use any other herbs that you like or have in your kitchen. Add a little bit of water just to deglaze the pan and you can get your spices cooking. Once your spices have cooked for about 5-6 to six minutes honey, you're gonna go ahead and add your vegetables which are your cut carrots and some potatoes. Go ahead and stir the vegetables in to coat in that sauce. And then you're gonna bring back the meat into the pan and coat everything until it is saturated with the sauce. For this step, you can either choose to use liquid broth or you can use the stock that I'm using. I'm using the oxtail stock flavor, I think, and I'm just going to add some hot water in there just to get the stew cooking you can absolutely use which kind of stock that you like chicken beef it doesn't really matter but yes you can use this the liquid one or you can use the stock one it's absolutely up to you honey then we're gonna add some hot water and get it to, to bring it to a simmer and once it starts simmering you're gonna go ahead and close the pan and simmer for another 20 to 30 minutes after about 25 minutes this is how the stew is looking Because my pan was a little bit crowded, I am go gonna go ahead and stir everything in. Then I'm gonna close it again and let it finish off for another 10 minutes until the meat is done to my liking. At this point, the vegetables are cooked through, they are nice and tender and everything is so beautiful i'm gonna finish off with some salt and black pepper just remember guys the masalas don't really have salt so you are gonna need to add salt at some point after tasting i did go ahead to add a little bit of hot water just to let the um, salt to cook off a little bit for about five to six minutes and another thing is that if you want a lot of soup or sauce in your stew, you can add, you can also um, increase the amount of liquid that you add into your stew depending on how, how much soup or sauce that you want in your stew. 
and once that's done simmering for another five minutes just to cook off the salt honey you never want to eat raw salt okay this is how it's looking as you can see i didn't want a lot of sauce because i like to i don't like my um pork too soupy and that is how it's looking guys then once you're done you're gonna go ahead and plate it up honey and enjoy yourself now I did serve with some steam bread or dumpling i do have four different types of steam bread on my channel you can go ahead and check them out i will also leave the links in the description box down below please comment down below and show me some love and i will show you back some love and i'll see you on the next one